My name is Adi, and I'm a product manager at Google, working on multilingual LLMs. As a developer, you likely aim to reach a global audience and remove any language barriers for your users. In this video, we'll show you how to leverage Gemma's powerful multilingual capabilities to do so. Gemma 3 uses the Gemini tokenizer, which is explicitly optimized for non-English script and lower resource languages. The models were pre-trained on a massive yet carefully curated data set, which encompasses over 140 languages. This diverse exposure during pre-training means that Gemma is fluent across various linguistic structures and concepts across a wide range of languages. Building on this strong foundation, Gemma 3 was an instruction tuned across 35 commonly used languages honing its abilities and making it more nuanced and culturally aware. So what does this mean for you as a developer? First, building your application with Gemma allows you instant global reach. Gemma can follow instructions out of the box in any of the 35 languages that were included in post-training. You can also expect the model to support and understand many other languages, though we do always recommend you test it yourself for your languages and your use cases. Second, the broad exposure during these two training phases made Gemma 3 a great starting point to further fine tune the model for a specific linguistic context, significantly reducing the effort compared to starting from scratch. Let's look at a few practical examples of using Gemma's multilingual skills. Building a customer support chatbot with Gemma you can easily build one that would seamlessly support any language your users speak. Looking to localize your website or marketing content? Gemma can help you create content that's not only fluent, but also culturally adaptive. Gemma's multilingual abilities are particularly powerful when combined with other features, such as multimodality or long context. Researchers might use Gemma to analyze large amounts of content in one language and generate insights in another. Or imagine you or your user come across this sign while traveling and are wondering what it means. By quickly snapping a picture and providing it to Gemma as part of your prompt, the model would translate the text in the photo and also give you the full context behind it. If you're looking to push the boundaries for a language Gemma hasn't yet been extensively fine-tuned for, or if you need the model's output to follow a particular style, for example, a very specific vocabulary, fine-tuning might be your path. To do this, you can use one of the many publicly available or academic data sets, or create your own. Don't worry about the quantity of data. We've seen that for this purpose, few data samples, even as few as 20, go a long way in shaping the model's output. During this process, we recommend evaluating your model to ensure it meets your needs. For this, again, you might use a public evaluation data set or evaluate based on your specific requirements and expectations. To explore model variants fine-tuned by the community of Gemma users, head over to the Gemmaverse, linked in the description below. Ready to explore and build with Gemma 3's multilingual powers? Head over to our documentation for detailed guides to help you get started. I've placed the link in the description below as well. Thank you for tuning in. I can't wait to see what you'll build with Gemma.